Hello everybody. Welcome. It's been a while. Two weeks. But we got another What's Old video coming. Alright, so today, Monday, January 30th, just got back from Virginia visiting with Kevin, the Commonwealth picker slash flipper. You can see some merch behind me there. Um, anyways, we uh, got several orders to ship out uh, from the weekend, so uh, I'm not prepared at all for some reason. <laughs> I know we got a couple Macari, we got a couple um, eBay, of course, and... Uh, I didn't bring it all up, so I'm just starting this video off terribly. That's okay, because people like it when I make mistakes. All right, so we have two, three on Macari, one, uh, two on Poshmark, and then uh, 33 on eBay in total. We're not going to go over all of them, but uh, starting with Macari, um, two uh, under $10 items and then one... Uh, over we sold uh, this cabbage patch radio which on which does work not <laughs> great but it works um, and I don't think they worked real well when they were brand new um, I think they were kind of an AM radio kind of a niche little thing and you know kids liked them so uh, that sold for eight bucks and then this also this little Funko Pop Walt Disney uh, Magic Kingdom plushie sold for eight, uh, six bucks and then uh, the big sale on Macari, if you call it that, is this vintage Pillsbury, Pillsbury Doughboy. We've had this for a while. And it is old. Uh, it looks like somebody used them as a pin cushion because there's quite a few little holes in it. But uh, it is old. Uh, feels like it's stuffed with like almost hay or something. Uh, anyways, uh, 12 bucks for the vintage Pillsbury Doughboy plush. Uh, moving over to Poshmark, we sold this this is a uh, Atlantic Media Stick 4 pack it's a CD holder um, that's what it looks like when you take it out of the box uh, I guess it can hold CDs and mini discs those didn't catch on at all um, anyways uh, sold for $15 plus shipping and then we also sold these 9 West heels um, <laughs> look at that toe I commend anybody who can walk around in this. I'm just saying. I could not. Anyways, Nine West Leopard Print Heels. Uh, 12 bucks plus shipping. This came from the uh, dollar shoe buys that we made at the Salvation Army. So, those... I have to go back and do that again because that was a good uh, pickup. And we got some decent stuff. It didn't... They didn't fly off the shelves, and we knew when we bought them that the brands weren't, like, you know, insanely fast sellers, but they've been consistent uh, over the months, so we're going to have to do it again, for sure. Moving over to eBay, and we'll start off with uh, somebody came through and bought... Uh, do, do, do. Let me see here. Yep. All these. This is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 photographs from us uh, for a grand total of 14 and 49.50 so 53 dollars and 50 cents grand total um, so that's always a good thing when someone does that because we like repeat buyers just couldn't keep them out of our store I guess sold some light and a license plate uh, this is a VA public use license plate. So Virginia public use license plate. Funny, we were just in Virginia. Didn't see any of these because this is old. Um, it's a, and it's a municipal um, license plate. Um, anyways, $25 for the license plate. Bless you. Uh, sold some photos for under $7 of this. We sold, this is a cabbage patch dress right here. That's what it looks like opened um it's a jessmar cabbage patch dress so it says jessmar factory somewhere on this tag uh, if i can get yeah there you go. <laughs> there's no way you're gonna be able to see that but it looks oh yeah you might jessmar factory um also valuable just like the dolls 
did make a lot of them made in Spain uh, dress. So if you see this kind of stuff, you're going to want to grab it. Uh, 26 bucks plus shipping. Not as fast of a seller as the dolls are, but uh, still pretty quick. Um, I think it took a month, month and a half, but people are looking for them. And that dress had some issues as far as like, um, you know, it's got some snags in it uh, in the back there. And uh, it's just not in the greatest of shape. It's okay. I mean, it's passable and it can be repaired and it could be put on a doll. But um, if it was in better shape, I bet it would have sold a lot faster. Next up. It's probably buried here at the bottom. Give me a minute. Next up. Um, we had sold several of these. Um, this one is a 50 piece uh, set uh, ephemera. It's our typical ephemera pack. So we got a bunch of Jaguar merchandise from uh, this last sale we went to. or well, we didn't go to it. It was an online auction estate sale. Um, they had a bunch of old Jaguar stuff. So we just kind of loaded up all the randomness that was with it. Like this, gifts for Jaguar owners. <laughs> okay. Um, anyways, 50 piece in here. fourteen fifty plus shipping. Um, we sold... This might be the ugliest shirt we've ever sold, but uh, <laughs> that's all I can say. You'll see. <laughs> Don't stare too too much at it. You might get dizzy. Uh, anyways, it's a vintage 1970s Queen Casual women's um, shirt, size seven and eight, so it's a small. Uh, it's got the big pointy collars, super 70s, 12 bucks plus shipping. You'd think that would be worth a ton. Um, they're not worth a bunch of money, but they do sell. So. Next up, one of the few cabbies we sold this weekend. This little boy. Girl, sorry. Um, this is a 25th anniversary Cabbage Patch Premie. Uh, green eyes with a dress and this little... Tuft. So newer Cabbage Patch 2250 plus ship. Sold some uh, tools. These are vintage Craftsman's ratcheting box and wrench set. So they're wrenches, but they ratchet. And I just got my fingers all dirty. So that's good. Um, yeah, that's what they do. That's all they do. Interesting, huh? You want to go the other way? You just flip it over. Simple. Anyways, three of them. Uh, $14.55 plus shipping. I almost want to make sure they all work. Because if they don't, we're getting no return. Seems like they do. Look at that. Isn't that good? You guys have been my witness. If they try to return it, you heard it. Next up, we got some uh, new old stock Southwest treasure pattern sheets right here still in the package from jc pennies or as my father refers to it jacques penne i don't know why he says that. i think just pretending that jc pennies is fancy i don't know 14 bucks plus shipping next up cool piece of history here this is a vietnam era uh vintage military rip stop uh, fatigue coat. So it's a army coat, essentially. In the Vietnam era. Um, size medium, $52.50. Plus shipping. How can you tell they're from Vietnam? Well, the tag's going to help you. Along with the numbers on the inside. There you go. That's about the only way I can tell you to uh, look that up. But here it is, fifty-two dollars and fifty cents. Good buy there. There are not a lot of these out there. A lot of them have been torn. A lot of them have been kept by families. But you're gonna have a tough time finding them if you can't. Uh, but if you do, they're worth some money. And I just dropped the wrench on my foot. Uh, next up, sold some sockets, half-inch drive uh, or half-inch socket, twenty-two millimeter socket. Stop looking at the cabbie. Hey, look at that. Just wants to focus on everything but what I want it to focus on. Let's try that. There we go. 
22 inch craftsman socket. 1050 plus shipping. Uh, another 50 piece ephemera set. These are all brochures right here. Travel brochures uh, from the 70s and 80s uh, and some maps in here. $19.25 plus shipping. Don't go walking by maps. Sold another socket. This is the other one I had in my hand. I'm not even going to try and get it. Oh, look at that. It focused. Seven, 17 millimeter uh, and half inch drive. 1050 plus shipping. Sold. The bank. Sarah picked this up at the thrift store a couple days ago. Hollow Kitty. Bank. Um, is it old vintage? Uh, no. 2014. But it's still Hello Kitty and it's going to sell. So, 12 bucks plus shipping. I think she paid a dollar for it. So, gotta like that. Vintage Hollister shirt. Apparently making a comeback because the new Hollister stuff isn't all that great. So, Hollister uh, vintage shirt from Y2K, so 2000s. 20 bucks plus shipping. So the good photo. These are the types of photos um, you want to grab if you see them, um, or even if you just see them in like a an album. Something that's fun like this is going to sell for good money. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm assuming nobody was harmed uh, in the making of this photo. But yeah, it's just a guy pretending to chop his friend's head off. Which is funny. Twelve fifty plus shipping. So, content is uh, your biggest seller when it comes to selling photos. More maps. These are all from of Pittsburgh uh, and New York. Well, one New York, rest of them are Pittsburgh. Um, from the sixties and seventies. Ten fifty plus shipping. Sold another one of these creepy dolls. There has a knack for finding these and selling them. So creepy. This one's quite fragile. Uh, 15 bucks plus shipping. Sold a wrench. Another Craftsman wrench. 8 bucks plus shipping. Uh, also sold another photograph. This is an old photograph. Looks like uh, just kind of a cool photograph. Parents are wearing sunglasses. Kids are enjoying it. You got the girl in her Sunday dress and so forth, but cool photograph showing some old 70s styles as well as some old 70s uh, decor. So that's what got, uh, got the price up on that one. 10 bucks plus shipping. Hello everybody. Welcome back. Last day of January. Tuesday, January 31st. And, uh, not good. Uh, six total sales on uh, eBay and three on Poshmark bundle of three. Uh, it's a board game, uh, some sandals, and a shirt. Sandals, shirt, board game. Uh, $35 plus shipping on those. And then eBay. I'm going to get a couple things to talk about. Um, first off, this uh, more Vietnam. Uh, clothing uh, right here this is tiger tiger stripe combat gear uh, army shirt Vietnam size medium so Vietnam era combat gear and this tiger stripe pattern which is looks kind of like that um, these are valuable like I said before 50 bucks for this plus shipping a couple other things we sold this this is a patchwork quilted table runner and ask me what a table runner is. I don't know, but that's what it looks like. I'm imagining it just kind of goes in the middle of the table. It's probably one of those things you take off before you eat because it's just for decoration. I don't know for certain, but that would be my guess. It's kind of like those decorative pillows you have on your bed that you don't really use as pillows. Table runner, 1050 plus shipping. And the last thing we're going to talk about is a photo album. Um, some of the photos we get come in albums that we can resell, and this was one of them. Um, there was a whole, this was full of photos. We took them all out, sold the photos separately, and then the photo album was in some decent shape, so we sold it. Vintage photo album, Emerson photo album from the 1970s. Made in Japan. Um, precious. Uh, $17 plus shipping. 
Other than that, we sold an ad. Sarah cuts out ads for magazines and we sell them. Seven bucks for that. And then uh, a couple photos. That's about it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Today is Wednesday, February 1st. Woohoo, February. That means winter's almost over. It's a good thing. It wasn't, it hasn't been bad here. I'll be honest. It's not very cold. A couple days, really cold, but for the most part, it's been pretty mild. So, I'm okay with it. Uh, we have a good day today. Yesterday sucked. Today was really good. So, which is good because we had a return that didn't really sit well. So, uh, I hate those returns. When they're like in the $80 range, you're like, like I could do a $10 return, but 80 bucks. I couldn't. It was our fault. Uh, something just didn't work properly. What are you going to do? Um, anyways, uh, Macari, Poshmark, and eBay. All of sales today. Woohoo! So, that's good. We'll start with Macari. And <laughs> this. this. <laughs> and it's nothing. I mean, it's nothing special. It's a tiger striped camo Victoria's Secret hoodie. Um, and we got so many questions and offers and watchers on this thing and nobody wanted to pony up the money for it. We had people complaining about shipping costs. We had all kinds of stuff. Finally, someone bought it. 16 bucks plus shipping. Just got to wait for the right person to not care, I guess. Um, sold something on Poshmark as well. We sold this Harley Davidson hoodie, size XL. Uh, Three Rivers Harley Davidson uh, from Pittsburgh. It says Three Rivers Harley Davidson on the back. $13. Put that And then we move over to eBay where we had a really good day. Uh, and you'll see why in a second. Um, so somebody came through and bought. All of these. There's one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then a lot of 16 photos. So all of these together um, are gonna. So the one lot is $57, and then the other lot of two is $14. Um, all of them. So what's 15? Not good at math. <laughs> 57 plus 14. Uh, 14. There we go. $71 plus shipping for all of this. Pretty awesome. That's what you get uh, when you sell photos and postcards. You get a lot of repeat buyers. Speaking of repeat buyers, we got someone came through and bought two of these jump wings. These are airborne uh, Republic of South Vietnam paratrooper jump wings. There's that one. And there's this one. Right there. Uh, two of them together, $17. Pretty shipping. Sold a license plate. Montana. 1959. Prison made. Says it right there. <laughs> Didn't know that. That's interesting. I don't know if I'd advertise that. But anyways, here it is. Montana license plate. Prism made from 1959. Uh, 35 bucks. Put that shipping. Some more photos. These are all about content here. Uh, this is a 1960s found photo. African American couple. Wedding. Right there. Uh, $13.50. Put that shipping. Sold a couple cabbies. Um, Sold two hard body cabbies. Right here and here. This one and this one. This is the brushy tooth cabby. She's got her little toothbrush there. 30 bucks for the pair plus shipping. Now uh, the hard body ones aren't really worth it. They can be. Um, some of them, I would, I mean, if you come across them, soul comp them because uh, you're going to want to look at the head mold and the gear on the back because some of them. Are worth money. We sold one, I think, from 1987 that was worth like 80 bucks or something like that. So some of them are rare, some of them aren't. You just want to take a look. So, sold a McCall's magazine. I thought McCall.
Paul's was a department store. But no, this is this really is just a magazine. Dole sweet and sweetened pineapples juice. Interesting. Um, here it is, McCall's magazine. Um, Greta Garbo is who's on the cover. I don't know who she is. Uh, anyways, from June 1951, $25 plus shipping. Some of the old magazines can be worth money. Say, say most of them. I'd say 70% of them aren't. But some of them are, depending on the content, the person, the rarity of the magazine. Like McCall's, I've never even heard of it as a magazine. I remember McCall's as a department store, but not a magazine. Um, so you definitely want to check out some of them. Um, like I said before, when it comes to vintage magazines, if you're outsourcing and you come across a bunch of them, or even if they're at like an auction, you can get them real cheap. There's multiple things to do with the ones that aren't worth anything. Um, we do it. And it's, again, it's not a huge seller, but it's a way to make some money. Um, like, we get boxes of magazines for 2 or $3, and there's probably 50 or 60 magazines in there. And what we do is we cut out the advertisements and then sell them individually because the advertisements are awesome. We don't advertise like this anymore. Uh, real color, kind of awesome pictures and things of that nature. So... When you're outsourcing, if you come across things like this, um, you know, from the 50s and 60s, you're going to want to take a second look, because you can cut them up and make some money off of them, but they're not worth anything. So, just a thought. Again, not fast sellers, not big money sellers, but, again, you pay 2 $3 for 50, 60 magazines, you sell those for 7 you know, you probably get 2 or 3 out of a magazine, and you start to put this together. <laughs> uh, anyway, talk about another cabbie that sold uh this is pj there's pj pj is a kuza cabbage patch kid um not the most valuable cabbage patches i, I don't think the kuzas were a real popular line people like them but they're not as collectible as the regular cabbage patches um he's a little better because he's got his overall still he's got his little name tag there that says pj on it and uh he's pretty clean so, um, but anyways, PJ, uh, here from the 80s, 1750 plus shipping for, I'm sorry, 1750 plus shipping. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is like the third take on the intro. Just kept jacking it up. Um, might be the fourth actually. Today, it's February 2nd. Thursday, February 2nd. I said February 12th in the last take. It was good. Um, yeah. Today was not great. I mean, it was okay. We needed to be better. Which it will be. As soon as the cabbage is freed. Um, it's amazing how much that Instagram site really, really does dictate our business. So, uh, yeah, we had sales on Poshmark and eBay. No cabbies. Zero. Not good. Um, Poshmark sold the towel. Here it is. It's a mid-century modern towel. I swear my grandmother had this exact towel. It just looks... I swear they had this towel. Anyways, mid-century modern towel with the little fringe... Right there, 11 bucks plus shipping. Uh, moving over to eBay, because that's the only marketplace for us. Uh, we sold, we did sell some Cabbage Patch related stuff. We sold a lot of birth certificates and a Cabbage Patch passport right there. Um, six of them, six birth certificates and the passport, uh, 12 bucks plus shipping. <coughs> Another towel. Things are just falling off. Uh, another towel, beach towel. It's got a like a beach chair on it. Has anybody ever had? Have everybody ever sat in one of those, like with the fabric in them? I know it would not work out well for me because I'm a large person, but uh, they look comfortable. Fifteen bucks for that towel. Plus shipping. Ah, okay. I, I read it wrong. I read Vintage Fluoride Vitamin Baby Drop. And then I'm like, this doesn't look like a baby dropper. This looks like a letter opener. 
I'm like, you don't jam this in a kid's mouth. But it's an advertisement. It's got, is that? That's fluoride right there. And then we've got the baby drops on the other side. So there you go. And you'll open your letters. Who bought this? <laughs> Why would you buy this? I mean, because, you know, letter opener. But to 10 bucks. $10. Wow, it's just a plastic letter opener. I mean, I get amazed sometimes. But okay, $10 plus shipping for the lovely letter opener. Sold a lot of 25 ink tags as well, 10 50 free shipping. Uh, doing free shipping, blowing those things out of here. And uh, rightfully so, because I got to put them all together every time we do it, because none of the ones we have are together. So, last thing for today. It's a bolo. If you see it, you want to grab it, especially if it's in this good a condition. Alaska, 1972 plate. Pretty cool. Got the flag over there. North to the future. I don't know about that. But, uh, yeah. 1971, 72 Alaska plate. It's in um, impeccable shape. I mean, there's not a spot of rust on this thing. And it's, uh, yeah. I don't think it's ever actually been on a car. Ever. Which is pretty awesome. Uh, anyways, 35 bucks plus shipping for that. Pretty awesome. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Today's Friday, February 3rd, and better day today. It seems like we're just on this endless roller coaster. But what are you going to do? I um, have a few things to talk about uh, before the weekend, so let's get right to it. Only eBay, no other platforms. Poop. But. Anyway, uh, we had someone come through and buy a whole bunch of sheets from us. Um, this one. Vintage Sears flat sheet. With like this floral pattern. Uh, eh, made in the USA. Sears and Roebuck. So, interesting. Uh, anyways, 15 bucks for that. And then they bought the two of these. These are uh, twin flat sheets by Wamsuda. I think that's how you would pronounce it. How great I am at pronouncing brand names. Anyways, there they are. Floral patterns. Two of them. Right here. Uh, 30 bucks for both. Plus shipping. Sheets are good. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I think our thrift store might be on to us. Because there was one for sale today. And it was expensive. So, eh. I'm convinced that somebody from that thrift store watches the channel. Sarah doesn't think so. But it just seems like everything we end up getting there frequently the next time we come back is more expensive. Sold a cabbie. Here she is. Um, pigtails with a plaid dress. Uh, $24 plus shipping. Right there. And then we sold a menu. Restaurant menus. Set it on the live last night. You definitely, if you find restaurant menus, you're going to find them cheap and they are going to be uh, pretty good sellers. Not fast sellers, but uh, quick sellers. This is a w river room across the river from our house. Uh, not there anymore, obviously. Uh, but uh, probably was a cool restaurant back in the day. Shrimp cocktail, $1.50. Saute chicken livers with mushroom on toast, $1.95. Doesn't sound good. Uh, ladies club sandwich on toast. Choice of potato salad or chips. Buck fifty. This is soup du jour. Quarter. Jeez. Handmade pies. Thirty-five cents. Fruit bowl with cottage cheese. Dollar ninety-five. Why is that more expensive than a sandwich? Uh, anyways. Uh, yeah. River room menu with this insert. Uh, I guess I show you the actual menu. There it is. It's got the insert for the specials right there. Fourteen bucks plus shipping. Then, sold another license plate. This one's cool. Um, just because of what it says at the bottom. It's an Idaho license plate. 1963, and it says, Famous Potatoes. $19.25 for that. And another one. This one's cool. It's a uh, New South of Wales, Australia license plate. Australia license plate. That's not a good Australian accent. Um, $17.50 for this one. Plus shipping. And then a cool K2 
KK Porter Company Incorporated. Visitor number 18. And there it is. It's a pin. It's a uh, railroad train visitor badge um, from Pittsburgh area. Um, <laughs> I can't believe what this is worth. I think five, six bucks right now. $21 plus shipping for that. Wow. Crazy. Uh, yeah. Nuts. But what are you going to do? I have been amazed twice now. Next up, you get this vintage Grand Prix. Um, they do this every year. Um, well, this isn't the Pittsburgh one. This is Grand Prix of the United States, Watkins Glen, October 1968. So I apologize. If I was wrong. So it's just the United States Grand Prix, 1968. One dollar program. Um, Twenty bucks. Plus shipping. That's going to wrap it up here for this week's What Sold video. If you made it this far, and you haven't, please hit that like button. I appreciate that. And uh, you might as well subscribe if you haven't, too. I mean, what are you waiting for? See you next week. Bye. Good day, sir!